everywhere Elena Kagan went today, the cameras were sure to follow. Even when she took the Senate subway, the press was close behind. Two days after the president nominated her, Kagan put aside her day job, arguing in the rarefied world of the Supreme Court as Solicitor General, and stepped into the meat grinder of Senate confirmation. I know this will be a, a challenging process to go through. It always is. For in private meetings with Kagan, Republican senators pressed her on possible roadblocks, her objection to military recruiting at Harvard because of don't ask, don't tell, and her lack of experience as a judge. And then there's this. If confirmed, Kagan would be the fourth sitting justice from New York, which she brought up in her meeting with Alabama Senator Jeff Sessions. She made that point. Actually, first, we're kind of talking about her background and where she grew up and what we'll have four justices from, the New, from New York. Kagan would join fellow New Yorkers Antonin Scalia, Ruth Bader Ginsburg, and Sonia Sotomayor. She's someone that has had real world experience managing government, making decisions. That's more important to me than where she's from. Her confirmation would also mean the court would have no Protestant justices, only Jews and Catholics, even though more than half the country identifies as Protestant. Senators on both sides said that's irrelevant. I don't think we should be checking the box uh, on someone's religion. And it would mean all the justices went to law school in the Ivy League, five from Harvard, three from Yale, one from Columbia. Kagan's a Harvard grad, but it was unclear whether that came up in her meetings. I, everybody's treating me very well. That's the most I've said all day. Too. <laughs> and she'll be back tomorrow for another full day of meetings with senators, continuing for an entire month with confirmation hearings expected in July. Katie. And Jan, you talked about the makeup of the court. Do you get the sense that members of Congress believe it should be more representative of the country, at least academically or geographically? Oh, Katie, you know, senators always say we wish we had justices from different schools, different states, their own home state, but no one is saying that this will be a problem for Kagan's confirmation chances. All right. Jan Crawford, Jan, thanks very much.